The results of the poll are out. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members at Patreons. Make sure to subscribe and yes, the results are out. And there are some interesting things that Gaijin just posted in kind of a dev blog, okay? So they basically are posting the results and with that, uh, some basically implementation plans for the future, okay? So the re results first, uh, as you can see on the screen, um, the majority of the people uh, that voted, it was more than 50,000 players, actually uh, agree with the proposal of, of adding new modules to a number of ground vehicles, as well as healing uh, mechanics for the wounded crew uh, in ground vehicles as well, which is, yeah, completely fine, more detail, uh, and as well as healing ground crew members, it, it can be very interesting, and I think it will be a little bit better um, to the game. And then um, it was denied by 58% uh, the introduce like the, the introduction of the stun mechanic or concussion mechanic here I kind of like I, I, I Agree that in the way that they explain it. It's not really that good um, But there are some interesting things that maybe can come out out of that. So uh, yeah, and then the last one was kind of 50 50 uh, more towards the no on the new fire sources so uh, yeah, these are the results, so you can clearly see there are two ones that are, like, three of them are majorly, like, decided, and one of them is kind of 50-50, right? And what is Gaijin going to do with these results? Well, the implementation of ground um, vehicles detailing of the modules will be introduced, so basically they will add more and new modules to a number of ground vehicles into the game, making a lot of these new modules have kind of a new damage effect so for example there will be electronics and other things that will break inside the tank uh, making it a little bit less you know viable to keep fighting and basically making an effective hits a little bit less common you know so if you hit a target and it penetrates it will not have that empty space um, inside the tank that will do nothing. The only little part that we need to talk about it here is that they actually say that they will implement these gradually, of course, because they need to model these things in each tank that they do. So it's literally impossible um, to actually add these at once. You know, they need to grab every single vehicle that they want to do this and add the new modules that are there to be added. I'm pretty sure they will, you know, focus on the vehicles that are in the most need, aka the vehicles that are really lightly armored that you shoot in with an APF SDS, for example, and it just penetrates straight through and then it doesn't do anything inside it, which is kind of problematic, right? So they will probably focus on those first and then gradually add for other vehicles, which is great. And it will already come in the next update, in the next major, together with next updates after that, you know. So each update will have an addition of new ground vehicles to that list. Uh, on the healing of ground crew members, um, they also will implement this max time frame is next major update they say that maybe even before so expect this mechanic to be added very soon of course this is something that can be added to all tanks at once and it's probably very easy to do you just need to balance things out but at the end of the day it's not that hard to do something like this in the game right and then we go for the ones that are kind of denied right the first one the stun mechanic they are going to go back to the drawing board and um, I agree with them. There are some interesting things with stun and concussion mechanics that can be added that will help the game. Uh, but in the way that they were talking, it wasn't really effective and I, I, I was kind of divided, as you saw in that video, if you saw it, right? I ended up voting yes, but with kind of some things that I wanted to, like, to be different than what they were actually explaining that. So, Actually, at the end of the day, it's good that they are actually going to back to the drawing board and trying to come up with better ideas with that uh, for the future. And then um, the new fire sources, you know, so they explained it how um, it was kind of 50-50 and because of that, they are going to do kind of a 50-50 solution. So it's not cloth of the crew members that will cause fires, but some of these situations like hydraulic uh, fluid systems and 
like some forms of electronics might cause some fire. So it will be an in between the questions um, answer basically because it was kind of a 50 50 like situation there right which makes sense you know uh, i hope they don't add this for every single thing like they're saying just some things inside the tank that will create a new fire uh, but still uh, it is good uh, hopefully they change the way that the fire is because if it's a small fire for example it would take a long time to actually burn up a tank right not a long time, but a, a longer period of time than a ammunition explosion or uh, an engine fire or something like that, right? So it's a little bit different if it's an electronic system that it's causing a fire in the tank. So I hope they, if they're going to add this, uh, it is a little bit more specified on what type of the fire and the module that it is, right? So basically this is it. And yeah, I think it was a very good thing that they are actually doing these pools. So yeah, um, I will leave the link for the post in the description. Always leave your feedback there and leave it in the comments what you thought about the changes that are upcoming to the game. See you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye guys. See ya.